Hello everyone, this is our Destiny here, and today we're going to be reacting to the Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, episode 50 of People in Central. We are here, the promised day has arrived, and I am a little bit scared to see what's going to be in store for us, because the last time we left off that we know Al and Pride are in a walk together, so they got trapped in, and it's going to be very interesting to see where that's going to go, and see how, uh... Pride's gonna get out, he likely might end up being getting out at some point. Um, we also found it out two new, like, three new characters at the post credit scene. Uh, what's very interesting is that that person kind of looked like Ed a little bit. Um, I don't know why, but it looks very, they look very similar in a way, so it's kind of, it makes me question something of what's actually happening between those three. So we're going to find out about that in, in the future, I hope. Uh, don't give away spoilers for why they look similar, because they do. I didn't notice that during my reaction. Like, after watching the episode again, I was like, huh, like, wait a minute, why did they look a little bit similar? It's kind of weird. Um... But I'm sure that's going to be explained as to why they do. Uh, probably going to be one big reveal what's going to happen with that. Um, but yeah, we also got a lot of stuff with Hohenheim and Prime. We got the plan being set up uh, and done with. In this episode, last episode, we got the plan uh, to get Pride into the big rock. We had a lot of uh, Pride backstory and a lot of like his motivations and everything else like that. So it's very interesting to see Pride's human side as well, knowing that he actually didn't like uh, the mother that he has right now. Like... Uh, he really does enjoy it in his time with her, even though it's definitely just still playing house in a way. It's not real or anything. She doesn't know about it. I'm pretty sure she's going to find out at some point because we do... Mm, it's a little bit sad, to say the least, that she has no idea. She still thinks that um, she's being a mother, okay? She's basically just being a mother. Um, and now she's finding out that the military doesn't care about her anymore. So she, the military is going to take her out and everything else like that. So it's going to be very interesting to see where that's going to go to. Um, but yeah, let's get... I'm very curious of what's going to happen in this week's episode. Because the promised day is here, the day of reckoning. Um, so... I'm very curious of what Studio Bones has in store for animating this whole stuff, and I'm very curious of what's going to go down in the story, and what's it all going to mean with the sacrifices, how that's going to go down, because that's like what the sacrifice is going to be for, it's probably for the promise day, and I'm going to be very curious of what they're going to have in store with that. So, without any further ado, let's react to Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, Episode 15, The Upheaval in Central, in 3, 2, 1, play. Yeah, we also have Mustang going on about doing, um, and Central, like, blowing shit up at this point. This is really fucking cool. And seeing, like, him just going full on rogue with Risa and everyone else like that. Alright, here we go, episode! Oh boy, I'm gonna open the reservation, what's gonna happen? The one we need alive is Mustang. Oh yeah, we're gonna watch one to... We're gonna curious what's gonna happen afterwards, are they all okay? 
Oh, thank God, they really fucked up. Woo! Yes! Everything is saved, you fucked! You told them to kill everyone. Woo! So that was a direct order to kill the Fuhrer's wife. Yup. Damn, let's look at her. She's a... suspicions were correct. Does this mean... Has my husband... Oh. Has our country betrayed him? Or is it... The other has way my around. husband chosen to abandon me? Oh. I don't know. But... We gotta find no out. No matter which one, hmm. I promise that we'll protect your life. And once the dust has settled, you can be the one to tell our country well, that we happen. were always on their side. <laughs> that sucks. Damn it. Here comes our backup. All this bullshit. Move. We're sparing your lives, soldier. Thank goodness. That's good. That we're not from Briggs. <laughs> this would be a kill shot. What? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, get fucked. <laughs> Be grateful you're not dead, okay? <laughs> yeah, good work. Jesus. I was expecting Grumman. Hmm. He's sorting out the wreckage. And while we're already on that topic, has Mrs. Bradley been informed yet? Oh. No. Why It'll not? will slow us down too much if she passes out. Oh, about, you know, yeah. The homunculus stuff. Sentinel yeah, I wouldn't make sense to tell right now. You sure are popular, Colonel. I like to think so. Yeah, because at this moment in time, it would probably be not wise to tell her at this moment. Why the hell aren't they dead yet? <laughs> because y'all are idiots. <laughs> Woo! It's so good to see them everyone get this get absolutely out, fucked. <laughs> How many have we lost so far? We have 59 men injured, zero casualties. Which is good, because they're not killing y'all. Damn, man! It is going all ham! So, so this flame alchemist we're up against, I thought he was supposed to be some big war hero in Ishval. Well, yeah, he, yeah, he is. Really seem to live up to his legend, does he? Good point. All of his explosions have been pretty tame. <laughs> hey, now you are saying you want to really like go off on that? <laughs> That's the point because they don't want to kill you. Five wounded, but none dead. It's a miracle no one's been killed so far. Well, obviously because they don't want to kill you. They don't want to do that. They've got the hero of Ishval and the hawk's eye on their side. <laughs> you should have corpses piling up high. Yeah, but you're not. Unless... Damn! My goodness. There's my answer! No doubt about it! <laughs> what do you mean they're not killing anyone? Well... Because why not? Have a high number of wounded, why would they? A single fatality. At last check, none of those injured were even critical. They are mocking us. Not really. They just don't want you all to die. I want their dead bodies stacked in front of me. Jesus and I want it done He's now. doing it. He's going so extreme. Like, what, what the are, hell mm. is General Kremenman doing over there? They're systematically whittling down our forces. And they aren't even killing our men to do it. There's no way like they need to. Our numbers while keeping you know, if up. they did kill him, you would just prove your point. Wouldn't it make sense? Obviously. He can't possibly think this will work. <laughs> If there's one thing softer than Mustang, it's the men under your command. Oh, damn. You well send in children. <laughs> Excuse me? Holy shit. Central Command <laughs> really iced over by a single dissident. That doesn't inspire too much confidence in your troops. Central has never endured a full-scale assault. At least not by a large, organized enemy force. Jeez, but so even by going off against this, y'all can even defeat experience. them. <clears throat> Making their defense a joke. <laughs> Simply laughable. Damn. <laughs> How about Oliver is great. If I could love her. Let me step in and take command of oh, shit. Have you forgotten why you're here, Armstrong? Your leadership skills oh, have damn. nothing to do with your presence in this office. You are being held here as a detainee and nothing more. Oh, come on. I'm you actually get a need her help, you know? It would actually be very helpful commander. at this point. Holding you here as our prisoner. Because apparently your stuff is going so well. Briggs won't take it upon themselves to stage a coup d'etat. <laughs> you don't understand that laugh. The about the resolve of my troops. Damn. Your plan is useless. The only law the men of Briggs know is survival of the fittest. Mm -hmm. They know to abandon me if confronted with a crisis. Damn. Even if you were to murder <laughs> me in cold blood, Holy my troops fuck. would simply write me off for being too weak. 
They don't need me. Those men can act as their own force. That's the strength of the Briggs. Army. Damn, that's really impressive as fuck. Like, really, you gotta think about that. That's really trained. impressive. Colonel Mustang is engaged in combat. But yeah, now she's gonna like me going on his to stop him. Oh shit! He's coming out. Let's go. <laughs> Let's fucking go. This is gonna be hype as shit. Oh, who's that in the background? What the fuck? Why is that all like all red and shit? Oh man, this is gonna be hype as shit! <laughs> and here they come. Every single one of my men is capable of defeating a grizzly bear in combat. Damn! Holy fuck! What do you think? Oh, this is getting absolutely shredded right now. <laughs> Damn! Every single one can take out a grizzly bear. Fuck! That is absolutely impressive. More troops? But how? That's impossible. They just oh, it's impossible. The That's why everyone, if everyone says that when they're getting fucked over. <laughs> What's their head count? Oh, he has no sure. eye. Although going by their gear, it looks like they're from the north. Yep. Please. Hello! Oh shit! So are they gonna be killing them or no? Let's go. We used renovation trucks to sneak everyone in and hit the entire oh, in there. Are damn. you serious? Just how big is this mansion? Charlie, <laughs> I need more ammo. Hate to say it, but I'm out too. What do we do now? Where the hell is that supply unit? You think they were captured? Listen, guys. If it comes down to it, just leave me behind. Mm -hmm. Roger that. Come on, they are doing that. You could at least pretend like you're <laughs> by my side. I'm fighting to live, not die. <laughs> I'd rather die by my wife's side. Damn. It's yeah. true, though. I even proven that. Figures. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> they aren't. <laughs> They're hardly using their guns to fight back. They might be out of ammunition. Then well, duh. When you think it's going to be Round the case. Round up all of the men that we have left. Mm. Oh, whoo. There it is. This is plunge crate. That's definitely what it is. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Take a sweet time. I've got all sorts of. Woo! Holy shit! <laughs> God damn! Here you go. Oh, thank you. It's good to see you, Colonel. Oh, it's her! It's gotta be! Oh my god, it's so good to see you! Oh my god. As soon as I, I was like, wait a minute, why me? Oh my god, it's her! I'm surprised they haven't charged in by now. Well, we do the flame alchemist backing us up, so I really don't want to take any risks. Little do they know. The colonel's restraining himself since we're in the city. Ah, oh, jeez. I came all the way to Central to find a good man, but you're all just a bunch of sissies. <laughs> Ma'am. Holy shit. Everyone is here. <laughs> Pretty much. Y'all are just getting absolutely fucked. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Yo, lucky you didn't get ran over. Jesus. They're Shingy's tear gas bombs with extra Ooh. pepper spray. So you got those things in Shing? Is that where all of this stuff is from? Likely. I didn't know you were involved in this. Not that I'm <laughs> complaining. <laughs> but I do have to ask, where did you procure all these weapons? And who did you go through to get them? You asked who? I'll let him tell you. Oh. Hmm? Him. What are you talking about? Very curious who you're on about. All set. Go ahead. Is it some Shingy's official? This is Colonel Roy Mustang speaking. I'm honored to have your support. <laughs> Man, who's ass do you think you're kissing? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Over 80 years in business. Oh, holy shit! Man, you grew a lot! Jesus! <laughs> This is Havoc's, your neighborhood general store. <laughs> Sheen Havoc? <laughs> so, who do I see? Yo, send oh my the god. Office of the Fuhrer. Let's start a tab. Full Metal Alchemist. Yo, I really like to do look. Full Metal Alchemist. 
dude. I'm so glad she's back. There's smoke Ross. from within the city, and I could faintly hear a siren as well. Now they know everything's going down. The yup, they're having a lot of fun. <laughs> Let's say that. But I wonder what he means by look up at the sky. Guess we should get going. Yeah, I do have a countermeasure for his transmutation circle. Oh! But I'd rather prevent him from activating it in the first yeah, place. Yeah, true. He might That's have gotten too big for his old one, but he's still inside a flask. And if we destroy his container, then you can kill him. We might be able to kill him. Mm, and not only boy. that, we might be able to free all the souls that he has trapped. Yes, in the good. Room. Thank God. Well. How do we find the bastard then? Well, he's underground. We can use the same tunnel that May and I discovered. It's guarded by a pack of vicious chimeras, mm. but we should be able to handle them. Can you watch things here, Heinkel? Of course, I owe you one. Don't Damn, mention. Damn, just look at him. You just steer clear of the military dock. Yeah, just don't you get killed. <laughs> Basically, just don't die. <laughs> as well. Fight with me. <laughs> Pride. Let's see what they've been up to. Hey, Al. What is it, brother? We're heading out now. Promise is here. Just be careful. Please, right. don't die. <laughs> Pride. Still beating with the helmet. Wonder how he's gonna get out. Main every no why would you right <sighs> all the more reason we should hurry. Father's about to reveal the secret of immortality. And we don't want to be late for that. Secret of immortality. <laughs> all Envy is doing is just to get his body back. I want this area cordoned off. Must That's pretty much what he's the there for, and is to get it gets Keep to get it back. Out. One of the reasons why he's being so nice to May at this point. Right now. I'm really worried for May. I really you hope she doesn't get killed off. Because that would the suck. Soldiers, remember. Why you? Do you really think you can get away with this? Yes. I'd like to ask you the same question for what you're doing. This father guy must have told you his plans. Mm -hmm. All that he intends to sacrifice and what he gets from it. Sure, of course he Are we going to learn what it is? A select few of us that he's chosen will ascend to even greater heights. And the mm -hmm. nation of a mistress will change the world. All of the sacrifices made are an unavoidable part of it. Why don't you understand that? Because there's no reason to have it. Hopeless. What? Oh shit, yo! Get absolutely fucked! You scum, sit back and safely watch the battlefield as if it was some kind of spectator sport. You don't know anything about sacrifice, and yet you're the first yeah, yeah. to talk about it. Oh, damn. You're betraying your country. Man, she don't care. So, our country could very well regard me as a hero once this <laughs> is all over. However, I'm still not as merciful as our celebrated. Damn, she did get a. She's gonna kill him. Boom! Damn! Holy shit! <laughs> get absolutely shredded. What's up? You wanna get fucked over here or what? <laughs> They're gonna die too, for sure. That was yards. Now we have one casualty. Hey, I'm strong. Oh, hey, this kid. I wonder what this is all about. What are you doing here, Sergeant? Isn't this supposed to be your day off? I saw the smoke from my house. Oh wait, no, this, it's not the same kid. I don't know what I'm talking about. Sorry. No Mustang. Fucked up there. Subordinates have chosen the path of dissidents. They're attempting to flee. Oh no, and he doesn't know about Ross being alive too. That devious coward. First is he going to find out about all this? The Fuhrer's wife. The man has got to be pure evil. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> he has no idea. <laughs> hey. Major, I have just received word that General Armstrong shot and killed General Gardner at Central Command. <clears throat> she killed him? Yep, she did. Things are happening quicker than I expected mm -hmm. them to. I need to find the young lord soon. But how? Yeah, we all knew that that's what he was even doing. He wasn't really reconning. 
Well, he was, but... It feels like the prison has somehow tripled in size since yesterday. What? Tripled in size? What does he mean by that? What the fuck? What is this all gonna do? I really need some more information right now. And of course, May's going through here with Envy. What the hell? What's up with the dog? Why is the dog going all fucking crazy? I'm sure all, all of them are going nuts right now. What even is that sound? Jesus, that looks so fucking creepy. Is he hearing pride? Is that like a Morse code? Not getting in there. The military's got it completely blocked off. So much for that. And we don't have enough men to force mm -hmm. our way through. Wait, there's another way we can get in. The third laboratory. Oh no! That's how Alan no, and the girl snuck this. underground when they fought Lust. Yup, this hole in the third laboratory. And then this is gonna be memories. <laughs> like this is gonna be very in the Star of Trek. Jeez. Jeez. Three MPs guarding the entrance. Now that's a number I'm comfortable with. <laughs> this is perfect for me to throw some weight around and use my title. <laughs> Help me, please! Huh? My name's Edward Elric. I'm a state alchemist. Wait, what was that? You said you're a state alchemist? I need you to help me. Scar is trying to kill me! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> God damn it, Edward. <laughs> gonna use that and you guys gonna take you all out, you fuck. <laughs> no. That was a mean thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like you're the one to talk. Hello. Here somewhere. Oh, are we gonna actually go through the door? Right here. Oh, we're going back here where Lust was killed. Oh, shit. Man, this is very. I'm getting with like nostalgic feels right now. Oh, yeah, actually, gonna know what's behind the door. Sounds good. I'll take a team this way, and then you and Scar can lead a team the other way. You need my Scar. To divide the groups based on their skills. Because why not? The. Remember, you told me that he was somehow able to turn off your alchemy. Scar was still capable of using. Yeah, might as well use you, him, right? You know, makes sense. I guess that means these two are together. So who are you taking? My alchemy is a little unique, so I'll be oh. fine on my own. On second thought, oh, he's gonna it wouldn't be her. a bad idea to have a bodyguard, so I might as well take the young lady with me. <laughs> if any of us discover the enemy, do everything you can to destroy him. Mm -hmm. Roger that. Are you sure that you're gonna be okay with just the two of you? Yep, you'll be fine. He's immortal. Not like I'd rather well. keep the young lady's <laughs> company for myself than share with a lot of you. Damn. <laughs> the old man. Let's go. <laughs> oh, that's fucking great. Oh, I thought that was a mirror for a second. I wonder if they're gonna find green. So. You're getting desperate to search for the Shingi's prince, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Damn. Go find him. Oh, what? But I... You don't need to worry about us. Trust me, he's immortal. He'll be fine. Just go find him. Go find Lane. Damn. Be careful, and thank you. <laughs> That's the only reason why I bought her, just so she can go after her. Wonder who's gonna see first. I wonder. What's this? What a pathetic excuse for an army! They can't even handle those Briggs mountain monkeys! 
Please, sir, don't! We still haven't finished the soul bonding tests! Shut up! Soul oh no! Are they gonna use it? Oh fuck! This ain't good! They're using all of it now! No! No, 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 shit! Oh fuck! They're starting it now! Treacherous rebels, a lesson. Jesus. Jesus. Fuck! Ah! Holy shit! What even is that sound? Y'all don't want to know what that is. <laughs> oh, come on! That's it! Oh, fuck! They're using the army. Oh shit. This ain't good. Fuck man. No. I had a, it's kind of like a last resort type thing that he's doing. Does he use them now? But I wonder how father is gonna feel if he use it, even though they're not ready. I wonder if father's gonna come as well. Well I guess we'll find out, but now everyone's just searching for father. Um She's off to go find Wayne. Maria's back. Ross is back. Oh my god. I'm so happy she's back, dude. This has been... I wonder if he's going to find out too. The Sarge is going to find out that Ross is still alive. <laughs> I wonder if he's, if he's going to find out at some point. Um, that would be one hell of a, of a um, review to him, you know. Because he thinks that she's dead, you know. I'm sure that'll be pretty hard on him to find out that she's actually been alive this whole time. But I guess we'll find out when it actually comes. I'm guessing if there's going to be a... Nope, there's not. Alright, there isn't any... In kind of scene, so holy fuck, what a setup episode! Because this is ba this is a setup episode, basically. That's going on to all what we're going to expect during the promised day. Now we have the army that's already going out. Uh, Ross is back, um, and she's gonna go after Lane and stuff like that. Hohenheim is still gonna go after the father, and everyone else is gonna go after the father. So I wonder what's gonna happen between these whole like sequence of events, like the whole setup battles, and what's gonna happen here. Is she gonna free Wayne from greed, or are they gonna find a way to like you know connect to each other so that they can like you know both use like you know the homunculus stuff and shit, uh, which makes me very curious of what's gonna happen in these next couple of episodes of Fomino, because we're getting close to the finale of the show. It's getting very close to the end, and this is pretty much like the final battle in a way. Uh, I'm very curious of uh, what's all gonna go down in this whole thing. Uh, it's also good to know that uh, she doesn't, um, the wife doesn't know about Bradley and Pride, Salim, and whatnot. So I think she is gonna find out at some point. It's gonna be quite an emotional ride. This, like you know. Have her find out. I think what Mustang's doing is have her find out for herself, you know, like, you know, visually instead of being told, because even then, if she's been told about it, yeah, like he said, you would probably, she would probably faint, um, not know what to think, uh, maybe not, like, you know, um, believe it in a way, but I would want her to visually know it, like, as soon as she sees it, like, everything that's been going around. And stuff like that. So I'm very curious what she's all going to think about it. Um, what kind of emotions is going to go through her mind and stuff like that. So I'm very curious of what's going to go down in these next episodes. So yeah, this has been Hot Testy here. Never to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for future videos like these. And I will see you all next time. Bye.